Hello, I'm Dr. Omar Zaid. This is a video presentation of a lecture that I gave in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in 2016. It is now April 2020, and I'm sitting out the COVID storm in Japan. We'll begin with an academic review that covers the last two to three hundred years in particular, then move on to the Al Hazar Fatwa, and then cover some Freemasons that you might and might not know about, as well as the thirty um, third degree and its relationship to the tribe of Dan. We'll wind up with some remarks on the Fabian Society. Hello, this is Dr. Omar Zaid. I am still in Aichi Ken in Japan. This is May 2020, awaiting the end of this manufactured COVID crisis. I want to discuss some aspects of Freemasonry that uh, many people take for granted or take too lightly or even fail to realize especially amongst the Muslim countries and populations. Nevertheless, what I'm about to say stands for all peoples who have been affected by this cult. I will begin with a review of some aspects of symbolism, some of which can be used for good, and others which can be misused for evil purposes. And this will take us to the Far East, where the cult has abused Asians. And from there, we will travel westward to the Middle East to see how it is that Muslims in particular have been abused. Not to skip over India, but we will concentrate on Islam today uh, because of the onset of terrorist activism and reactionaries that have been used as a weapon against the entire world. Many of these groups have been set to their purposes by the Freemasonic cult and their hidden masters. I have entitled this uh, The People's Choice because the greater part of the Ummah, the Muslim populations, have chosen to follow leaders that were selected by the enemies of their religion. Not only chosen, but educated, put into position, financed, and initiated into a religious system, the Quran says, that Allah hates. The Ummah appears to have flocked to them and hung on their every word. So let us begin. By the way, I first gave the elements of this lecture about 10 years ago in Kuala Lumpur. Gestalt overview that will help place Freemasonry in its proper perspective and position with respect to what is called the Illuminati and 
the overall progression of global affairs over the last 300 years in particular. You should make yourself familiar with the previous lecture that I gave on Freemasonry, uh, the Empire of the Hidden Hand, before proceeding, because it will provide you with a better understanding of what you are now going to experience. So, let us begin. Hello, Dr. Omar Zayed. This is part two of my uh, lecture on the elements of Freemasonry that permeate all of society. In part one, we discuss the Illuminati, the structure in relationship to Freemasonry. We introduce two stars in particular, the hexagram and the pentagram, and gave a bit of their background and history. We will now uh, continue with the pentagram, and I will attempt to show you how it is used to brand the entire world. This branding is integral to the uh, New World Order. It is, in fact, an act of magic that creates what is called an egregory, which, in fact, is a group mindset. Hello, I am Dr. Omar Zaidi. This is May 2020, and I am still in Japan due to this manufactured COVID uh, crisis, which is a coup. It is a global coup that is facilitated by the cult under discussion. This is part three of that discussion of the elements of Freemasonry that permeate all of the society. And we will begin with some uh, remarks on how it is that this cult has changed other cultures, has suborned other cultures, has reduced them from their higher state to a lower state of uh, consciousness and cultural expression. We will then turn to the Knights of Malta and give an illustration of their role in this endeavor to conquer the world on the part of the Western uh, authorities behind the scenes, the hidden hand of Freemasonry. This is followed by a review of idolatry and the symbolism used. This symbolism is integral to the branding that is used by satanic forces to undermine a group mindset which is based on traditional cultural values. We then end with a brief discussion of the Muslim Brotherhood versus the Grand Sunusi of Libya. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this has been a blessing for you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.